I have to constantly wash this mouth to make sure that Naja is only speaking, declaring, and decreeing the things that God said about me. Period. Okay. and I'm back with another video so I just finished up my Facebook live I'm gonna need y'all to join me on my Wednesdays and Fridays <laughs> but for real though but um the message that I shared on my live as I ended it was watch your words and basically I was saying you know coming from personal experience of course sometimes we could end a thing before we can even get started I know there's a lot of uh, fact checkers out there. There's a lot of uh, reports. There's a lot of statistics. But if God ain't say it, and again, this is for the people of the Lord, the, for the believers. If God ain't say it, don't you say it neither. I hear, you know, a lot of singles. Oh, well, you can't find a good man. It ain't no good man. All men are cheat. All men are dogs. Da, 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 Listen, for my single women and for the single women single win single men there are good men out there single ladies and single men there are good godly women out there as well but we cannot be getting ourselves into conversations where we are speaking against um our faith if our faith in god says god i trust you to do the impossible then that means regardless of the statistics regardless of the reports regardless of the facts regardless of what it is and all that other stuff I trust God as far as a business idea we can't be out here saying oh well I can't do this and this is impossible ain't nobody gonna do this thing. that is not walking in faith faith says I trust God faith says as long as I do my part Lord I know you're gonna come through and do the rest faith says it's going to defy all the odds it's not going to look like you're winning but as long as you just keep standing in faith, as long as you commit whatever that thing is to the Lord, it shall come to pass. As long as it's in God's will for you, it will happen. My situation may not be my situation, but it doesn't matter. Faith is applicable to the life of a believer. It is in any aspect of our life. It applies. You might be already married. Maybe you want to have children. Uh, maybe you want to open up a store, open up a business, write a book. Um, you know, whatever situation it is, we walk by faith. Our faith can move mountains. So whatever big thing it is that you want to do, maybe it's a new career venture. I don't know. But whatever it is, you stand in faith, you stand on faith, and you trust God. When we stand in faith, that means we, we, we believe it. Despite the odds, we trust God. I'll make this personal. I trust God. So I had to watch this, and I have to constantly watch this mouth to make sure that Naja is only speaking, declaring, and decreeing the things that God said about me. Period. Okay? So again, watch your words. We have the power of life and death in this here mouth. And so like I said, I had to, you know, thankful for my mom. She had to get me together because <laughs> I was speaking um, death to a situation without even trying due to fear. But I'm thankful that I'm learning, I'm growing, and I'm saying only what God says. And if God ain't say it, that's it. Lord, I give it to you. That's God's business. That's my latest saying. Oh, somebody was like, oh, well, you can't do uh, that. ain't my business. That's God's business. The Lord is going to take care of that. All I got to do is stand in faith. And that is a constant thing because then you're going to, going to be bombarded with numbers and statistics and this and this and that. Regardless of those voices, the only voice that matters is the voice of the Lord. So y'all stay encouraged to drop me some comments down below. I would love to read them and to keep the conversation going. I will see y'all on my next video. Good night.